3 Able 6, your 200 block on Wellesley is a code 6 Charles. This is 3 Able 2, we have a 12 309. 3 Able 2, say again. I said there's been another bombing. We need 3 MD9, right now. Gorman. In industries, a 12 309 at the McKay Building, Wentworth and Avenue G. See the officer. Code 3. 3 MD9, roger. Let's go, Tony. <laughs> blew it up. This time he got more than just a building. Any injuries? One. The head janitor. As far as we could tell, he's just shaken up, but... Tony, brown and yellow. Yep. How many does that make it? Five. Okay, cue me when you're ready. We're on the site of the latest bombing. The scene is the same, police, emergency vehicles. And as I look around, I begin to wonder, is the bomber listening to my voice or is he out there among the onlookers watching me? So far, all that makes this latest bombing different from the four others is that this time there was an injury. The police still have no clue as to who the bomber is or just what point he's trying to make. Hold it. We do have something new. The janitor was only slightly injured and has told police he saw someone running out of the building just before the explosion. And get this, he said it was an old gray-haired woman. Talk to him? Pretty badly shaken up. I'll take him to headquarters after we've taken some x-rays, all right? Sure is a mess down there. Baker, just tell me what you found. Look at this stuff. You won't believe it's the same bomber. What do you believe? He's given us five chances to guess. Cosmetics, that's new. What else? Because I have called and you refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Proverbs 124. Put it with the four other notes. Every company there is a subsidiary of Gorman Industries. Now. Why does an old woman drag herself in and out of industrial plants, picking locks, leaving messages? What can she have against the Gorman conglomerate to warrant this kind of effort? Probably paranoid. Her own personally constructed motives, nice, neat, and convenient for whatever is bothering her. Some congealed residue. Can you tell what it is? It says I run a qualitative. Yeah, what do you got? 
common commercial hardware store pipe. Cheap watch timer. Nothing traceable. She did a lousy job. Set for 4 a.m. It went off 11 hours early. It was wired wrong. Hmm. What do you got, Harry? Lieutenant, this is it. This was no easy one to pick. It's an inside deadbolt variant. Harry, every industrial plant has security, but people do get through. Dan, even manipulating the mechanism through a keyhole was a very tricky job. Could I do it? With a lot of experience. Or a key. Simon, haven't you? Jean, how are you? Trying to recruit Simon to the hospital again? He borrowed our spectrophotometer and centrifuge. Ah. How long does it take to find out what was in one small bottle? Two hours and ten minutes. And 33 seconds. I keep telling you to come over to the hospital where we appreciate you, Simon. What was in the bottle? Dexamethasone. Thanks for coming over, Jane. This weekend? Oh, just point me at the beach. <laughs> Bye, Dan. Uh, see you, Jane. What's dexamethasone? It alleviates iritis. Acute inflammation of the iris. The old lady is probably also taking an atrophine solution. She needs a combination of both. Can you tell by looking if someone has iritis? Well, there are visual clinical signs. They can be detected with a gross examination. Then we'll parade them in here for you. Every Gorman employee or ex-employee with that condition. In here, starting with the cleaning women. I'll have all the pharmacies alerted. Any way of masking the eye symptoms? Only with dark glasses. Mr. Simmons? Mr. Hahn? I, uh... I fixed your son's train. Hey, uh, beautiful. Uh, Joey will be tickled pink. It was the secondary gear between the transformer and the drive. You uh, really do know mechanical things, don't you? It's quite simple, really, once you've grasped the basic principles. Uh, I uh, do have to uh, run the, uh, uh, the wife and dinner. You know how it is. Uh, Thanks again, Hon. Mr. Simmons, uh, you know that prescription you gave me for the dexamethasone? Yeah, how's it working? Well, uh... Oh. Still irritated, I see. You have enough left, don't you? Well, uh, it's a good thing I gave you a large bottle. You know, the police phoned every drugstore in the city today. We got a call them the minute somebody comes in for that very same prescription. You didn't lose yours, did you? No, uh, thank you. I have enough. Good, good.
I don't know why I did it. Don't ask me. I feel so sick inside. I feel so evil. <laughs> you still use this? Not lately, no. <laughs> tell me. Why did you blow up that building? My mother said I was rotten when I was six. And I haven't disappointed her. Is that an explanation? You almost killed that man. Yes, well, arson is safer for all. I knew that. But with a stick, boom, and there's not much evidence. How did you wire the bomb? What difference does it make? I did it. So book me. No protest, no Miranda. I know my rights. I know what I did. And why did you do it? I can't help myself. <laughs> Just get it over with, or I'll bomb another building tomorrow. How about the Panama Canal? You heard about that? Yesterday. Goodbye, Angie. We'll get in touch. But don't leave town, right? That's what he always said to me. Don't leave town. Angie, don't leave town. Right. Do you have any idea what's going on? The whole department is working around the clock, interrogating over a hundred cleaning women who have quit or been fired from the 26 Gorman companies, and you sit here and take tea with our stock company of professional confessors. Important preventive medicine. Huh? If somebody doesn't at least pretend to believe their dreams, they might decide to make them come true. 3MD9 and ADW Anderson Construction. Fifth and Townley. See the man. Code 3. 3MD9, roger. Yeah. Uh, this time I know you're in there. I heard you coming downstairs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just because we're not double dating, that don't mean we can't be friendly. After all, what are neighbors for? I appreciate your gesture, Mr. Uh, Myers. You're a considerate man. I I I'm, I'm a lonely man. Oh, you got a job. Good, good. No such luck, I'm afraid. You went to the unemployment today. You got your check. You forgot last week, remember? Yeah. Uh, thank you for lending it to me. Oh, that ain't why I brought it up. Please, I, 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 I forgot all about that then. Well, thank you. Just the same. Yeah, uh, how's your models coming? Oh, fine. Just fine. I hear you're working on them yeah, sometimes. Would you? Excuse me. Uh, uh, Look, I'll, t I'll tell it to you straight. What I'm trying to say is that my world is, is going to pieces. I, I mean, you're alone, I'm alone. You're in your room at night, I'm in mine. Uh, uh, another television program, or, or I go out, so it's another movie. Well, maybe, Mr. Hahn, Jerry, maybe, do you play Pinaco? No. Doctor, I did give you enough time. Now, I want the medical records of every Gorman employee with any kind of eye trouble, and I want them now. Present employees, yes. And former employees, yes. Security, office help, maintenance. Yes, I realize you care for 2,600 employees, but do you realize that one of them may have been setting these bombs? 
I don't care if they're in the Gorman vaults or on the moon. Cancel your dinner date, Doctor. Maybe the religious thing is like the cosmetics. A blind alley. Open it up. Look for anything unusual. A fight with a fellow employee or an executive, a record of being passed over for promotions, a raise that was put in for and refused by management. Locke says the paranoid makes up his own motives. Maybe this one had some help. Estimates are that enough explosives were taken to level half a city block. Police now think his knowledge of explosives could indicate he is a construction worker. The only other clues so far are the bomber's flair for biblical quotations and his eye condition. All drug and pharmaceutical houses have been alerted. <laughs> The doctor from the Gorman head office just called with five names. Two from maintenance, three from security. All had iritis at one time or another. Call the names. Pull the files as he calls them. From security, Hawn, Baker, Fornsworth. From maintenance, Miller and Werner. Henry Baker, fired for drinking on the job. Iritis, 1967. Cured while still employed. Bernard Fornsworth, fired 1965, 57 days absent his last year. Gerald Hahn, iritis, chronic. Competent employee, efficient, well-liked. Dismissed during economy cutback last year. Promised a job if and when they rehire. Ben Werner, dismissed. Wait a minute. Mr. Hahn has a rather interesting hobby. If we're right, and the bomber is only one person, he's been both a middle-aged cleaning lady and a construction worker. Mr. Hahn's hobby would be a pretty big help to him. He was a member of the Gorman Employees Amateur Theatrical Club. He's in trouble, right? We didn't say that. We just want to talk to him. Mm, some talk. You're tearing the place apart. That's a warrant I just gave you. Dan? The ice was. Has he been ill lately? He was born sick. Look, some people can step into a train and the train gets a dent. Jerry Hahn steps on a pebble and he breaks his ankle. No, I'm talking about his eyes. Do they trouble him? Everything troubles him. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, he gets something. He calls it an irritation. Has he been to see a doctor about that? Doctor? Jerry Hahn see a doctor? What for? If Jerry Hahn went to a doctor, it would only get worse. What is that? Thermos bottle lining. Was he carrying anything when he left here? I didn't see him go, but he takes a thermos to the movies. He's he went to the movies? Which one? I don't know. These are sticks of dynamite. That unlucky friend of yours is trying to even a score with the world. Honest, I, I don't know. That Gorman Company chartered headquarters. One of their sub companies, entertainment. A chain of small theaters. How many? Twenty. One would go to the top, to the biggest in the chain, to their flagship. Let's go. He goes a lot. He's a lonely man. He has no friend. He has no luck with... with anything. Attending that woman on Shaw, there's nothing else available. Ten four. There's no APB on this. And review the area. Three able. Everyone, we're sorry to inconvenience you. If you'll all just gather together, we'll uh, ask you some questions, and then you can leave. Distressing. Uh, that is the only word for it. Distressing and uh, uh, deeply disturbing. Of course, I, I knew this film was a, an X-rated film. That, uh, that was my purpose uh, in, in, in coming. 
You see, this kind of film is, is getting uh, more and more popular, so I, I uh, figured I uh, ought to take a look for myself, but, well, to coin a phrase, uh, good Lord. <laughs> Thank you, officer, for attending me, uh, me premature sermon. Excuse me, father, I have my orders. Father? You might try these. Oh, that's all right. I, I'm uh, perfectly well. A bomb you planted in this theater. Where is it? <laughs> bomb? Good Lord, the whole world's got mad. No, only some of it, Mr. Fong. The people instead explosives in public places. There's sometimes good reasons for extreme actions. Never for killing, Mr. Hahn. Not to me, not to any man who values life. Somehow I don't think you really did intend to kill anyone, even now. What did I intend? To make a point about something which disturbs you deeply. Good. <laughs> I'm glad you got my point. I should hate you to have missed it. You're a very perceptive man, and very considerate. Mr. Hahn, where is the bomb? What? Well, Mr. Oh, Hahn. There's no hurry. It, it's uh, set to go off at uh, 3.15 a.m. Where is it? Uh, could you? Oh, it's, uh, it's in the waste uh, hand towel disposal canister in the men's room. Baker. May I, uh, please? to discuss this matter further. That is, if you're interested. Yes, I am interested. You say uh, injustice towards the, uh, the average human being in the world today is... No, gentlemen, uh, it was not revenge because I'd been laid off. I simply wanted to show them how easily their security could be penetrated since they cut back on so many of their guards. I uh, think I proved my point. Dan, I don't think those cuffs will be necessary. Thank you, Doctor. I see you really do understand. There shall be no reward to the evil man. The candle of the wicked shall be put out. Proverbs 2420. <laughs> You'll have no further trouble with me, Jack. The cuffs stay. As you say, preventative medicine. <laughs> 